this light somehow. Alrighty, well good morning. We are out here in north central Arkansas. Really, really close to the Missouri line. And it is warm outside. That's a change for us. Um, it's gonna be almost 80 degrees today as we're out here hunting. Uh, big old long beards. We have the shotgun today and uh, hopefully gonna level the playing field a little bit. So hopefully we hear some birds this morning. It's about 5.30, you got a little bit of a drive on this piece of property to get back there where we know the birds normally roost. We're gonna get up to high point, try to hear any run and gun and get as close as we can to the roost. And hopefully today's gonna end with a long beard. It's time for us to put down a long beard. We got the mojo choke on the end of the shotgun. I just recently did a video testing all that. So um, I got Brian who's coming back in the shadows back there who's going to be filming me today. Dad's here, he's just hanging out, he's metal detecting and fishing, so we ought to have a really good day. Two days of good weather, hunting birds in Arkansas, trying to put my first ever tom down here in Arkansas. I'm pretty pumped about it. We'll see what happens. Stars are bright, they call you up just to hear your voice on the show. Well, so far this morning, we heard a bunch of gobbles around. This is the point that we're sitting up on now that I wanted to get to this morning, but uh, just we're not able to. We actually busted a hand back here in the timber a little bit, in a little ways back. Uh, but we'll sit up here. The hens are definitely down. All the gobbles we heard, we probably heard probably at least 10 different gobbles this morning. All of them that we've heard have shut up now, so the hens are down. We gotta wait for one of them to make that fatal mistake and uh, get away from the hens a little bit, or the hens get away from them and start talking. So, it's looking good. We got turkeys. Now we need to kill turkeys. So this is random, but I had to take a break from editing when I realized I had um, an editor's worst nightmare come true, and that some of our video files were missing. Nowhere to be found, period. Somewhere between taking them off an SD card and putting them on an external hard drive, they're just not there. I do have some of the video files, but it just so happened to be the camera angle that was on the turkey that Brian laid down the footage of. And it's just really, really frustrating that it had to happen. But luckily, we had the spy point rolling, um, it was the Spy Point XL on the gun, and then we had a digital SLR afterwards. So we didn't lose everything, but sometimes it can just be frustrating. So I hope you guys still enjoy the hunt. You're like right there. I was like, I know where the rat Brian. The hens are eating out of my pockets. So because I'm vertically challenged and this fence right here is high, we are going down here to the gate. Dad uh, is here. He's metal detecting and fishing. And he is coming back because he walked with us up through here and I uh, was just up the road. So we gotta go around this fence to get up to my big tom. Brian was could have gazelle leaped over the fence, but we gotta go around for me. I told Brian, so if there's one place in this afternoon that we wanna sit to see some turkeys, it was gonna be up here in this little clearing. We weren't out here five minutes. Bird down. That was chaotic, let me tell you. Whew. We were behind that cedar tree. Look at that baby little cedar tree. I couldn't even see my side tech because I was shooting through it. He's up here. <laughs> Woo, he's got some good 
big old bird. Oh, look at those babies. He's a limb hanger. I jellified that head. Talk about jelly head. He looks like he's got the whole shot left in it. Well, here we go, got my first ever Arkansas long beard. Couldn't be any more excited. Uh, it was a quick hunt, it just came together really, really quick. Mojo Scoot and Shoot saved us because we had those hens no more than five yards from us. They did that quick call and they all threw up their heads and luckily, you know, I had that Winchester Longbeard XR. He was about 45 yards, had to shoot through the cedar and the fence and it jellified his head. He didn't go anywhere. Uh, it's been a long time coming to get my first ever Arkansas bird. Just don't have them where I've grown up and so we had to travel out here. Got the shotgun out and I said I was gonna level the playing field. I did it and uh, Missouri's coming up so hopefully I can get one there on the hunting grounds but super pumped about this. It's been a long time coming to get my first ever Arkansas bird. Alright, so the winds are picking up, but we are getting out of here. We had some really cool encounters today. We tried to get uh, Brian up on a bird, and we got up close and personal a few times. Had a big old gobbler that we played cat and mouse with about four times, but just completely blessed to get my first ever Arkansas bird, and I thank them for allowing me to utilize this property and to be out here and just hunt. So it's been awesome. We actually got barbecue inside from John Janes. He runs Circle J Barbecue, and it's the best barbecue, best pulled pork sandwiches that I've ever had. So we're gonna have those before we get out of here and then we're gonna head home and celebrate Easter with the family. So guys, down below, be sure to comment, tell us what you enjoyed about this episode. Make sure you leave us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, new videos every single week. And until next time, have a better and average day. Won't you tickle